Well, how's everybody doing this lovely, wonderful day? I hope everybody is doing just fine. I hope that God has been blessing you and taking care of you and looking out for you in the name of Jesus. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. I want to give honor to God. I want to give honor to his son, Jesus Christ. And I want to thank him for the Holy Spirit that now dwells in us. The Holy Spirit that empowers us to do the things that we do that's right according to the word of God. And we got to thank God for that spirit because God loves us. He decided to put his spirit in us to work through us in the name of Jesus. And that's a blessing. Today I have a message for you. I have a message for you in this title, How to Establish a New Mindset. It's titled, How to Establish a New Mindset. And this establishment that I'm talking about is coming from the Christian perspective. It's coming from the Christian perspective. The new mindset that I'm talking about is coming from the Christian perspective. So, the first thing you need to know in order to establish a new mindset, there are steps you have to take according to the words of God in the New Testament. According to the words of God in the New Testament. So then he goes on to say, you must believe in the birth of Jesus Christ. According to the New Testament, you must believe in the birth of Jesus Christ. Today, do you believe in the birth of Jesus Christ? So your old mindset might not believe in the birth of Jesus Christ, but your new mindset has got to believe in the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, then you must believe in the shedding of Jesus' blood for the forgiveness of sin. Do you believe in the shedding of Jesus' blood for the forgiveness of sin? I mean, that is the new mindset that you got to have. That is the new mindset that you got to establish in yourself. You know, you got to believe in that. You got to believe in the birth of Jesus Christ. It's got to be locked down in your mind. You got to believe in the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ. You understand? You got to believe in the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin. He was our sacrificial lamb in the New Testament. And you got to believe in that blood. And that blood will give you for the, for, the, for the forgiveness of sin. Then you must believe in the burial of Jesus Christ. Then you must believe that Jesus Christ was buried in the flesh. He died and he was buried. You must believe in that. You got to believe in that in, 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 in order to establish this new mindset. Then you must believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ to be saved. You must believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ in order to be saved. Do you believe that Jesus was raised from the dead? If you don't believe it, you got to establish that in your mind today. That Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead. And he walked the earth. And then he went up to be with the Father. And he's at the right hand of the Father right now. Do you believe in that? That's the new mindset that you got to have. According to the Christian perspective. That's the new mindset that you got to have. And you got to establish that inside of your mind. Inside of your heart. Inside of your inner being. This is what it takes to establish a new mindset. This is the first part of establishing a new mindset. The things I just told you is what you got to believe to start establishing a new mindset. It starts there, but it don't stop there. It's got to grow more and more and more. Your mindset got to grow. Uh, you, then it says, you worship, you must worship God in spirit and truth. You must worship God in spirit and truth. You'll find that in John 23, 24. But you must, you got to understand me. You must worship God in spirit and truth. But I think the first thing you need to understand, what is worship? 
There's different types of worship. But this worship I'm talking about is called love and respect. You must love and respect God. You must love and respect God in the spirit. You must love and respect God in the spirit and in his truth. You must love and respect God's spirit. And then you must love and respect God's truth. So you must worship him in spirit and in truth. And this truth when it's pertaining to you, I want you to understand this truth is you must be sincere with God. You must be sincere with God. So today, are you worshiping God in spirit and in truth? That's the new mindset that you got to have to yourself. I am going to worship God in spirit and truth. I am going to worship God in spirit and truth. I am going to love and respect God. And I'm going to be sincere with God. Because you're going to... I am going to wish a God in spirit and truth. So you're going to worship him. That means you're going to love and respect God in the spirit, in your inner man, in truth and sincerely. You're not going to be faking with God. You're going to be real with God. That's the only way you can worship him in truth. That's the only way you can worship him in truth. You got to be fully devoted to God. You got to be sincere to God. You got to be you got to be willing to sacrifice for God. You got to be willing to do all these things in order to worship Him in spirit and truth. John twenty three twenty four. Let me read it right quick for you. John twenty three twenty four. Uh, John 4, But the hours come. This way, this way, he met the lady at the well. <coughs> but he said, "Well, let's put. Let's just start off with verse right twenty-one." Jesus said unto her, "Woman, believe me, the hours come when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father." No. That was the Old Testament. That's the way they used to worship the Father. But he said. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for the salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers, he said the true worshipers, the ones that truly love and respect God, shall worship, shall love and respect the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such a worship. Because that's the kind of worship that God want. You got to worship him in spirit and truth. You can jump and you can holler. You can make a lot of noise. You can clap your head. You can share tears. You can do all them things. But are you worshiping him in spirit and truth? Even though it looked like you're doing it on the outside, but are you worshiping him in spirit and truth? And are you loving and respecting God in spirit? Are you loving and respecting God in truth? Are you sincere with God? Or, or are you just doing a show? for the people to make them think it. But in order to truthfully worship God in spirit and in truth and to establish that mindset, that means you got to be obedient to the Word of God and let the Word of God work in your life. If you want to worship Him in spirit and truth, it establish a new mindset. So you got to get out the old mindset that you get and you got to get into the new mindset according to the New Testament in order to worship God in spirit and truth. You got to have a new mindset. Then it goes on to say, 
Then it goes on to say, you must establish a new spirit. You must establish a new spirit in your mind. I'm going to be coming from Ephesians 4, 21 through 24. But it says, you must establish a new spirit. The spirit that I want you to look at this time, when I want you to see this word spirit as an attitude, a reasoning, or thinking. So you have a new way of reasoning. You have a new attitude. And you have a new way of thinking in your mind. But that's what you got to establish in your mind in order to have a new mindset. You can't have the attitude that you used to have anymore. <clears throat> oh, bless that wonderful name, Jesus. You can't reason like you used to reason anymore. So you got to reason like the Word of God. You can't think like you used to think anymore. Now you got to think like the Word of God. Uh, you got to think like the New Covenant. It said, put on the mind of Christ in order to have a new mindset. So you got to think differently. You got to reason differently. You got to have a different attitude in the spirit of your mind. In the spirit of your mind, you got to have a new attitude. You can't keep the same one. To give you some examples of what I'm talking about, let's go to Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, 21 through 24. Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, 21. Hmm. 21 through 24. And so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. The truth is in Jesus. That ye put off concerning the former conversations or the former conduct of the old man. So you got to let the old man go. You got to let the old attitude go. You got to let the old reasonings go. You got to go to. You got to look. You got to let go the old way of thinking, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. Which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. So you got to let it go. You got to let it go. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And then you got to be renewed. In the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man. And that you put on the new man. Which at the God is created. In righteousness. So who is the new man? So in the spirit of your mind. You got to be about righteousness. And true holiness. And true holiness. That's what you got to be about now. That's how you establish a new mindset. You understand? These are the things that you got to do in order to establish a new mindset. In order to establish a new mindset. Then it goes on here and said, You must believe in the Holy Spirit. You must believe in the Holy Spirit. You must believe in the Holy Spirit. There is no exception. You must believe in the Holy Spirit. I got I got a verse that said, see, once you didn't believe in the Holy Spirit, but now you must believe in the Holy Spirit in order to establish that new mindset. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. He said the Holy Spirit shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance and bring things back to your remembrance. Even though he's talking to his disciple, it's for us today too. Whatsoever I have said unto you. So whatever the words have said unto you, he'll bring it back to you. 
but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Now, do you believe in the Holy Ghost? Now, do you believe in the Holy Spirit? You got to have a mindset that believes in the Holy Spirit in order for this to work in your life. If you don't have a mindset to believe in the Holy Spirit, it is not going to work in your life. So you have to establish this new mindset according to the new covenant, according to the new testament, so that it can work in your life. So therefore, you know that you must live by faith. You know you must live by righteousness. You know you must live by holiness. You know you, know you must trust in God. You know you must trust in Jesus. You know you must believe in Jesus. You must believe in the Holy Spirit. You must believe in the Word of God. You must believe in the Godhead, which I call the God sword. You must believe in all that. You must believe that you are a new person in Christ Jesus. See, the new mindset is that I can't believe I am who I used to be. I can't believe who I who I used to be, but now I believe who I am in Christ Jesus. See, I can't believe that, uh, 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 or you know, whatever your circumstances was, uh, or, or or whatever the things was that uh, you, you you believed in as far as you believed in lying, you believe in cheating, you believe in killing, you believe in all these evil things. You understand? Well, you what what now? You got to understand that you can't believe in them things anymore in order to establish this new mindset that God got for you. You got to believe. You got to have. Now you got. You got a new mindset for holiness. You got a new mindset for righteousness. You got a new mindset to live peaceful with all people. You got a new mindset to overcome evil with good. You got a new mindset to turn your cheek. You got a new mindset to do the will of God. See, see, once you establish that new mindset and that new mindset get to working in your life, you ain't got to worry about you being what you used to be. You ain't got to say, I'm glad I ain't what I used to be because you will have nothing to do with what you used to be because you have a new mindset that killed the old mindset and now the new mindset is taking over and now you being all that God wants you to be and God is showing you all this love in your new mindset because when you because when the new mindset work in your life oh, I want you to know that change just take places. I want you to know that great things happen to you. I want you to know the new mindset will make you a new person. The new mindset will make you do things differently than the way you used to do it. The new mindset will make you accept Jesus Christ by faith. The new mindset will have you to walk in the newness of life as the word said. The new mindset you understand. But if you don't get the new mindset you're going to be one of them that's struggling. Oh man I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling with that. But when you get your mind right when you get your mind right uh, when you got your mind right in Jesus and you're thinking like the New Testament then you want to understand uh, you will see your victories because your new mindset tell you you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world and the things that I thought I couldn't get over you understand the things that I thought was holding me down I found that uh, let me tell you something. I found out. Uh, let me tell you again. It wasn't holding me down. <laughs> it was my mindset that was holding me down because I wouldn't change my mind. But once I changed my mind uh, and I got into that new mindset, the things that was holding me down, uh, I want you to know they wouldn't holding me down no more. So if you want to get out of bondage and you want to live in freedom, you got to establish this new mindset that I'm talking about that's in Christ Jesus. That's in the New Testament. That's in the New Covenant. You understand? And you got to apply that word into your life. You understand? James said, uh, you got to understand this. Uh, James said, 
Faith without works is dead. Uh, you got to get that mindset to know that faith without work is dead. Because when you get that mindset to know that faith without works is dead, you're going to put your faith to work by what you do. Because of the new mindset. Because of your new mindset. See what I do? Mindset get to working. Things get to changing. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. When that new mindset become different than what it used to be, you won't be out there at no wild parties. You won't be out there on no corners. You won't be doing the evil things of life. You will be doing the righteous things in life. You will be trying to help people. You will be encouraging people. Instead of putting people down, you will be trying to build them up in the name of Jesus because you understand with the new mindset that you got you're going to have with the new mindset that you got you're going to realize that you are the light of the world and not the darkness of the world and when you become the light of the world because you got a new mindset you might find some of the people in the darkness not liking you but that's okay continue to stay in the light and keep the new mindset and watch it work because you know what light always outshine darkness huh? and when they start seeing your light huh, in your life huh, because of the new mindset that you live by you're going to start having some influencing on them and then you're going to make them start wanting what you got and then you're going to bring them out of darkness in the name of jesus and you're going to bring them into the light you know why you're going to bring them into the light it's because you got a new mindset your mindset is not like theirs anymore so when they see you they don't see who you used to be. They see who you who you are now. And they really like who you are. Some of them going to envy who you are. But they're going to really like who you are. But some of them going to want to follow that light. Because there's a lot of them. You got to understand me. It's a lot of them that's in that darkness. You understand? That's in that darkness that want to come to the light. That want to come to the light. But you know what? You can't. Bring them to the light if you keep the same mindset they got. That's why you got to have this new mindset that's in Christ Jesus. You understand me? You got to have this new mindset that's in Christ Jesus so you can bring them out of the darkness and bring them into the light of God. And bring them into the light of the world. You understand the Holy Spirit took over. I guess the rest of the verses is over. But you understand. You got to establish a new mindset. In order to, to be the light of the world. In order to be the salt to this world. In order to be the flavor to this world. You got to establish a new mindset. And that new mindset. You understand. It's got to be established in Jesus Christ. It's got to be established in a new covenant. You understand? Because when you got the new mindset about the Holy Spirit, which you didn't have a mindset before, but now you do got the Holy Spirit, so now you got a new mindset that the Holy Spirit is working with you. Not against you. You understand? Uh, then, you, then you know that Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And he said, I'll take care of your material needs. You understand? Uh, when you get the new mindset, you will understand where I'm coming from. And you will live it out. And because of the new mindset and putting your faith in Jesus. And you seeking you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then you start seeing your material life getting better. Why? Because of the new mindset. Uh, but when you're in that old mindset, uh, let me tell you something about your old mindset. Uh, but when you're in that old mindset, uh, you probably was blowing your money. You was probably gambling. There ain't no tipping what you was doing. You was fornicating. You was lying. You was cheating on your wife. Uh, you understand? Uh, you couldn't even respect your kids. You understand? Why? Because you're living in darkness. And you're living in the old mindset. Uh, and a lot of people the world did it that way or the crypt or the or the people you hung out with did it that way and guess what it was messing up your life uh, because you was living in darkness and you had that poverty mindset and you got to get out of that poverty mindset 
You got to get out of that property mindset and get in that prosper mindset that you get in Jesus Christ. And then you start prospering everywhere in your life, in all levels of your life. Because you know what? You got out of the old mindset and you got into the new mindset that's in Christ Jesus. That's in Christ Jesus. That's in Christ Jesus. So I told you how to establish. I'm not going to read the rest of the verses. But uh, I told you how to establish a new mindset. I told you what you had to establish your mindset in. And your mindset is in Jesus Christ in the new covenant. So you got. it's up to you to establish that new mindset. But I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to establish that new mindset if you don't get into the Word of God and practice the Word of God. I'm, a, I'm not going to just say apply the Word in your life, you know, because application is one thing. That's the beginning, but you got to keep practicing it. Or you got to keep living it so that it can be your new mindset. So you automatically start thinking this way. You automatically start doing things this way because now you're letting the Word of the New Testament rule in your life. You let the word of the New Testament recreate your mind. You let the word of the New Testament give you a new mindset. And when you get a new mindset, I want you to understand something that you get new conducts, that you get new behaviors, that you think better than you used to because of the new mindset that you got in Jesus Christ. The new mindset. That's what Romans mean. Romans 12 too, when he said, renew your mind. When he say, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. He said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So when he tell you to renew your mind, he's telling you, you got to establish a new mindset. And the only way you're going to establish a new mindset is by getting into the Word of God and living it out. How? Did you hear me? By getting into the Word of God and living it out. I know they say, go read your Bible. Read your Bible, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. You can read your Bible, pray every day. But if you're not practicing the Word of God, if you're not applying the Word of God in your mind, all you're doing is reading your Bible, praying every day. But if you want a new mindset, you got to apply the Word of God in your life. Because it's got to take place in your mind in order for you to live it out. In order for you to live it out. If it don't take place in your mind, you will not be able to live it out. Well, victories is mine in my faith that I have in Jesus Christ. That's my new mindset. That's my new mindset. Faith in Jesus Christ. Obedience to the Word of God. You know, that's my new mindset. My old mindset was I didn't have faith in Jesus Christ. I wasn't obedient to the Word of God. So I had to let the old man go and let the new man come in that's in Christ Jesus in order to establish this new mindset. May God bless you. I hope this message touched you. I hope it lifted you up. I hope it inspired you. I hope it helps you to have a new mindset, a whole new outlook on Jesus. And that you establish a new mindset that he wants you to have. So that you have a mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is about righteousness. It's about loving God. It's about receiving God's love. It's about being obedient to God. That's the mindset of Jesus Christ. So we got to have that same kind of mindset. We can't have a mindset of doubt. Because mindsets of a doubt will destroy you. It will not build you. If you got doubt in Jesus Christ, you're still stuck in your old mindset. But if you got faith in Jesus Christ, you're on your journey to a new mindset, to a stronger mindset. You understand? And when you start applying the Word of God in your life, and then you will find your mindset getting better. And, it, and you will find your old mindset dying out and the new mindset taking over. And you know what the things that you used to like are. Uh, 
<laughs> you won't like no more because of your new mindset that you have in Jesus Christ. I hope this message touched you. I hope it bless you. As you know, I'm on YouTube too. Check me out on YouTube. I'm on Twitter. Feel free to go there. But I had, but one thing I gotta let you know: you got to get saved. So I want to tell you how to get saved according to Romans 10 verses 9 and 10. I'm going to read it out to you. And I hope it touch you and bless you. For you that are not saved, that's hearing me today. And you that are saved, if you want to tell somebody how to get saved, I recommend them two verses. I recommend them two verses. That, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus should believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. You got to believe that God raised him from the dead in order to be saved. You got to believe this. That's what the word said. You got to believe that God raised Jesus from the dead in order to be saved. For the heart man believe unto righteousness. And because of your heart now. In your new mindset and the new things you want to do, you believe on to righteousness. So now you want to do righteousness according to God based on Jesus Christ. You understand? And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And then you got to believe you are saved in order to confess that you are saved. You got to believe that you are saved in order to confess that you are saved. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Well, y'all, y'all have a blessed week. I hope to be here next week. I hope to bring you another message. God is willing, I will. But I want you to know one thing. God loves you, and I love you. And, 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 establish, that new, and establish that new mindset so that you can have a new lifestyle that will prosper you. Not hurt you, but help you. In the name of Jesus, be blessed.